want you to enjoy this video as much as possible. Unfortunately, there are many poor quality, illegal video cassettes now available to buy or rent from sources other than reputable retailers. Not only do these reduce the sound and picture quality of the film, but they may also damage your video cassette recorder. To make sure you're watching the genuine product, check for this security sticker on the cassette and ensure you purchase your videos from a reputable retailer. If you can't find this sticker on your video cassette, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Act on 020-8891-1217. Video piracy is a crime. Please help us to fight it. A magical Christmas Eve, the most wonderful time of year. Five lucky winners waited, then William Conquer appeared. Inside the Plumpty Dumpties prepared a big celebration. Welcome to my world of festive innovation. Look, trumpeting sprouts. The guests were told politely they really mustn't touch, but the greedy, gluttonous grape didn't listen very much. My beautiful gravy! <laughs> The sulky, sour rhubarb always put herself first. It was just a matter of time before her bubble burst. I want a big pie now! Came a frosty shout. Then she learned her lesson. That spoiled little sprout. I can see his plum crack. <laughs> Christmas isn't selfish. It's not all me, me, me. Yet nobody had mentioned this to the mischievous kiwi. Only Kevin the carrot clearly understood the true meaning of Christmas and the importance of being good. Congratulations, Kevin. You passed the test. I'd like to present you with the cheese to the factory. Wow, that's huge, Willie. Can I share my good fortune with everyone? That's the spirit, Kevin. Seasonal oh, goodwill yeah. was truly in the air, but Christmas is a time that's sweeter when you share. cereal over me. Mm -hmm. well, if I had thought of that, I would have done it! Mom? Big Mac! <laughs> the Grand Twins. Watch it now on YouTube. It's not easy being me. Wash your... Silence! Your next assignment is to write a diary. Story! It's awful! Mum comes in and yells at me. Come on, Henry! You always this bit's really boring, so we can skip it. <laughs> Sometimes Miss Oddbot invites me into her office. Practically a perfect day. Why did you invite him? He was out there all alone. Wow, great party. Everyone here is so warm. I, I really feel the warmth. I wish this night would last forever. I'm sure you do, buddy. I'll get them up. M&M's for all fun kind. An experiment's gone out of control. Rice Krispies into squares. Coming to theaters soon. Kellogg's Rice Krispie Squares. Every delicious square starts with a crispy.
last stop on round to be old Ma Peggerty's place. Twas like taking bread to the top of the world. Twas a grand ride back, though. I knew Baker'd have get on and slices of hot ovis ready. Get it inside you, boy, he'd say. You must have gone up that hill as fast as you came down. Hovis, as good today as it's always been. or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified U. That means it can be seen by people of all ages and there will be nothing unsuitable for children. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.
Thomas, aren't we? Yes, Mr. Thomas. Well, I'll be. Okay, I think you'll learn your lesson. Come out of there, you dirty little devil, and fight like a man! Christmas, the one time of the year where us beloved pussycats can decorate our trash cans with lights and hang some Christmas donuts on the doors. So, who's ready for Secret Santa? <laughs> I knew you would do that. Well, first off, you all know the rules. You have to pick your secret gift, buddy. Just grab a name and don't let anyone see it. That means you, Topsy. Aww. What the? Now, let's have a look and see whose holiday happiness that I'm responsible for this year. Ooh! <laughs> Looks like old Butch has got a good one. But remember, just keep it a secret. Anyways, without further ado, who's ready for some Christmas shopping at the mall? <laughs> that joke really kills me. Well, it's settled then. All aboard the Trapdoor Express. We're going to the mall. <laughs> well, here it is, men. The mall. The place where all men and women buy groceries and accessories as far as the eye could see. So, does anyone know what they're going to get their secret friend to? Uh, oh, this is actually going to be a hard explanation. Uh, uh, hey, you! Yes, you! Are you looking for the ultimate Christmas gift? Well, look no further! Get ready, kids! 
It's the time that's gonna blow up your Christmas. It's the new Jet Propel's Hover Rocket. Your mom is guaranteed to love the Hover Rocket. Get your very own Hover Rocket today, or else your Christmas will fail without it. Jeez, fellas, I've never seen anything like it. Well, I think I know what I'm giving for my secret Santa buddy. Wait, wait, where'd you guys go? Oh, so it's like that, huh? Not if I call dibs first! I am so sorry. We're all out at this location. Better luck next year. I think I heard they have a few left at Toy Kingdom on the other side of the mall. Oh well, I guess we'll have to get something else, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Christmas emergency. Now let me show you folks why the wood chipper 4000X is essential to any home. <laughs> any questions? Well, there goes our only chance of getting that gift. Any chance that we can think of something else for our secret Santa selection? Yeah, I'm not so sure about you, Butch. But wait! This gives me an idea! If anything could come through with a perfect gift, maybe Santa could help us. Uh, where'd you fellas go? Oh no, you don't! Wait for me! <laughs> hey, huh? Hey, you're not Santa! Um, yeah, of course I'm not. I'm like one of those many little hoppers. I gotta tell you, man, things just get a little rowdy around this time of year, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Now, like, what's the big idea of ruining my two-minute break on Facebook or something? 
Well, we were trying to look for the same hover rocket for our Secret Santa gift exchange. But we sort of massacred the last one. And now, you're our only hope to save us from holiday gift disappointment. So, let me get this straight. You boys stormed in here like roadrunners sabotaging each other, tearing apart this mall, and then coming in front of all those kids in line just to get your grubby paws on some new toy? Well, I don't think that Santa will approve of such despicable behavior, regardless if he's your hero or not. Now you boys should, like, take a long look at yourselves and think very clearly about your actions. Oh dear, seems to me that that expression of Tom's is right. What have we all become? We were just trying to get the bestest gift in the world for the bestest pal in the world, Jerry. Yeah, he would have really liked it. I can't believe I've actually let Jerry down. Wait, Jerry? I knew it! That sneaky little rodent wrote his name in all the Secret Santa papers. Hey, I got the same name, too. In fact, we all have his name on the Secret Santa papers. Well, it seems to me that you boys just got triggered by a sweet and adorable little mouse. You're in luck! Your little friend bought us a new hover rocket and said that we can all share. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Well, hop in, Tom. Cotton swabs, 
a blessing or a curse. The name and clowning's my game. How'd you like me to come to your house on your birthday? Have your parents call this number. Is this the home of Mrs. Lindsay Williams? I'm here to wish her a happy 47th B Day! Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop dee doo, whoop dee doo. May your day be pleasant, open up your present just for you, just for you. Happy birthday, happy Happy birthday, whoop dee doo, whoop dee doo. Dear Pussycat, just to give you a heads up, splat and closed. What's a splat? Oh, I'm sorry, Pussycat. Here, have a piece of candy. That's chocolate covered Tabasco hot peppers. crazy clown won't go away. He'll never leave me alone. He doesn't even realize he has the wrong house. I have to do something. All right, wise guy, I'm through clowning around. I'm gonna wish Lindsay Williams a happy birthday or else. <laughs> Mrs. Williams, at last! Happy birthday, happy Whoop-dee-doo, whoop-dee-doo. May your day be pleasant. Open up your present just for you. Just for you. Alright then. Everything is all set for the best party of my life. Oh, hey, Pussycat. You're just in time for the special occasion. <laughs> it sure is going to be fun with you around. Oh, and as a bonus, for the sake of surprise, I've brought over some special entertainment just right outside the door. Why don't you have a look for yourself, Pussycat?
made it. Ha ha! I never thought you'd get here! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! whoop de doo whoop de doo May your day be pleasant! Open up your present! Just for you! Just for you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! whoop de doo whoop de doo Know something, Frank? I just heard some wonderful news that the Magic Express is coming to town, and this time they'll be introducing us to a very special VIP. Yeah, what a cinch that would be.
Maybe this will stop him. You better stop your train, rodent! You better stop your train instead. Yeah, well, I'm not stopping mine. And I'm not stopping mine. Oh, yeah? We'll see who will chicken out first. Pussycat, I'll see you in St. Louis! Sometimes that rodent gets on my nerves. <sighs> the Rifle Mouse! Featuring Jerry Mouse. It's only me, Jamie. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Tom. I'm only wearing a costume for Hollow's Eve. Look outside. Well, all right then. Looks like everything is all set. All of my friends will be here any minute. 
And when they do, boy, will they love the new candy I just bought. Jamie, I gotta say, like, you have the coolest party I have ever been to. Why, thank you, Lizzie. My cat just helped with the decorations. Cool. So, speaking of your cat, what is he doing anyway? Oh, he's right at the door, checking off the names of people that are invited to my party on the list. Everybody, it is now time for Jack Karbonsky to crash this party. Oh no, not him. After all my years in education, he still acts like the same selfish bully he's always been. Jamie, I like totally agree with you. I'm just gonna go get some candy just to try to ignore him. <gasps> oh, there's a tiny mouse in the candy bowl! Now will you kiss me? No. Oh, come on. I said no. Maybe just a tiny kiss? Do you even know what the word no means? <gasps> Wait a minute. Didn't you see that? Do I really look like I care to you? Please, Mr. Zombie Mouse, please don't eat my brains. I promise to be a kind soul to every person on the planet, especially cats and mice. Hey, cut it out, you crazy pussy cat! Please, don't eat that zombified mouse! You'll be turned into a zombie too! Jack, just simmer down. My cat chases mice all the time. It's his nature, isn't it? Well, 
I guess that puts an end to Jack's little story. Well done, Tom. Now what do you say we go back inside with my friends and continue with the rest of the party? Now I know that the candy bowl is just empty, but luckily I just bought another bag of candy. I'm actually glad that you and your little friend are excited to hear that. Right, got the turkey set for tomorrow's big Thanksgiving feast. I don't know, Mary. Are you sure you want to be the host for this year? Because last time that cat just ate up all the Thanksgiving food and didn't leave any morsels for us. Oh, George, don't be so hard on old Thomas. Besides, this Thanksgiving year will be different, I promise. Well, okay. But if he scorps one morsel of our dinner, He's going outside with the dog. T-minus three, two, one, let go.
wouldn't worry about your cat too much, Catwoman. Just feed him cat food instead of dog food, and maybe she'll be her old self again. Why, thank you so much, sir. Come on, Ross. I was so worried about you. Doc, we'll see you now. Doc, Doc, you gotta help me, Doc. I've become a frustrated pussycat. I have nowhere else to turn. Is there anything you could do for me, Doc? Well, let's try to calm down and see where the problem lies, shall we? Uh, nurse, the patient must not be disturbed, please. No problem, doctor. Now suppose we start from the beginning, like far back from when you remembered. Gladly. Now, see, I think it all started back at a big mall next to a small train station, on one of the rainiest nights ever known by man. <sighs> I'm so bored. When do you suppose that Jerry's gonna be here? I'm not sure, man. Fellas, it's our good friend Jerry! Come on, fellas, let's get old number 40 rolling! Fellas, we've got to get rid of that creep. But Jerry, how do we do that? Well, I have a plan, and here's what we'll do. Indeed, they did have a plan. And so forth, the true madness begins. Good afternoon, sir. It couldn't be! I must have been seeing things. Well, I gotta relax. Oh, my, my nerves are getting me. Swim for my life! You see, Doc, I was looking for a quiet spot to think, but then I spotted a doctor's office, unlike the one I'm currently in right now, which I then proceeded to walk in, and I result in telling the doctor about all the horrendous hallucinations I've come across. Even the doctor looks like a mouse. Anyways, he told me that I was a victim of mousetrophobia, meaning that I've gone completely out of my medicine. 
I was traumatized, and I was begging for the doctor to save my life. Lastly, having him say to me, Well, you can act like your old self again by making amends to those poor little mice you've treated so shamefully. So, I agreed to the solved problem and decided to set things straight. Come on, Jerry! Rockin' and rollin'! Yeah! Yo, Tom! How's about some more track? All right, fellas. More tracks coming up. Huh? I think I smell a mouse. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, boy! Gotcha! Oh, hey, yes. oh, let's go, Jerry! Uh-oh. <laughs> Trying to drive me goofy, huh? So, give it to me straight, Doc. Have I gone loony? Well, I thought that first of all, you will have to understand that it was all just in your imagination. There was nothing crazy inside that mall. It was... Places, everybody. We are ready for a take. Camera, action! That was not in the script.
Okay, we shall try this in the morning. That's a wrap, everybody. Oops, I forgot my Roadrunner cartoon. I'm sure the kids would love to see this. I didn't know that you could fly! <laughs> you didn't know that I could fly. <laughs> FLY! Like, this is the best film I've ever seen in my life! guys were fantastic! Defeating a gigantic lady with your slapstick humor? <laughs> oh, that makes me chuckle. You know, we could surely use a couple of guys like you at our studio and make a movie about it, too. We'll call it The Tom and Jerry Movie. By the way, my name's Dylan Paxton, head producer at Warner Brothers. Oh, yes siree, we're gonna make you into Hollywood personalities.
this stuffed mouse since 1959. A stuffed mouse? Yeesh, now that's gotta be the harshest plot twist of the decade. Now don't worry, pal. I shall have to take good care of you. We shall not let the number of our kind decrease. Why, it's an injustice! All right, there you go. All right, let's go. All right, now that you're in a safe spot, I'll be right back. All right, if I multiply six by 50, carry the one, I'll be up to $301,000 for my tax payments. I can see where this pussycat is going to cause me a lot of trouble. He's not a stuffed mouse at all! He's a live mouse! Why, it was all a hoax all along! He eats food all the time! And he follows his little nose going squeak, 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 squeak! Okay, Tom, what's going on here? Don't be silly with me. Why, that's a stuffed mouse. It's been stuffed for years. Like, do I have to prove it to you, you silly cat? <laughs> now you see this? He's stuffed with cotton and his head is wood. See? Wood! Now then, I don't want any more disturbances while I'm working. Understand? It looks like we're going over from column 5 to column 6. I might have to have the budget increase. Oh, uh, Tom, there's a cat over there to see ya. What? The Tom! Alright, what's the matter with you? You want the neighbors to think you're bewitched or something? Well, any more behavior like this, and tonight you'll be sleeping outside with the dog. Come on now, I think it's best if you were to hang out with me. Just great. Now I'm gonna have to stuff that mouse all over again. Hey fellas! Look!
Now there's one of our kind that got this whole traveling business beat. Hmm. I suppose this income tax might have turned out all right, if only I had a few dependents. Hey, Tom, I think you might want to have a look at this. <laughs> dependents. That'd be the beauty of it. But what are the odds of that? Did somebody say dependents? Well, you got it, kid. Thank you. 
Well, this seems like a nice spot, even for a 4th of July campsite. And I just can't wait to light off all my firecrackers and rockets. Well, I guess that takes care of that. Now to shoot some firecrackers. Yay! Hooray for the 4th of July! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! All hail the great red, white, and blue! <laughs> Looks like that little mouse can't even take it! Now this is where I light up the party for him. Of course you get that this means war! And so, men, we just cannot sit back and continue to let cats destroy our history and culture. And as stated, the cats are being best known for being predators of our kind. So, we must unite together. Brothers at the Mouse Independence Party. Which means that instead of being attacked, this time we attack. And we can break the cat curse from our spots. Uh, what does that mean? It means that we should fight back and show the cats what it means to be a cheese-eating rodent! Okay, you filthy rodents. If it's war you want, it's war you'll get. And your mark get sad? I'm only 93 and a half years old. This ought to drive those mice crazy.
take me alive!
You know what I enjoyed the most about summer, Thomas? Well, it's simply firing up the barbecue and having a nice cookout. And this time I've got the best accessory to warm up the party. Ah yes, once these burgers are finished, this will be a feast to remember. <laughs> If 
he wanted a cuckoo koa, why didn't he just ask? Hey, uh, Thomas, if you don't mind me asking, what was going on back there? Was somebody trying to steal our food? Hmm, strange. Could have sworn that there were ants nearby. But bottom line, I cannot wait to sink my teeth in these bad boys. give my own grandmother my pet mouse. Why she would definitely take good care of him while I'm away at summer camp. How are y'all doing, man? Oh, don't mind me. I was just heading over to Granny's so I can shove her in the closet and fool Red Riding Hood. Just wait and see. Now how did this pussycat get in here? Hey, good morning, Granny. How are we doing? A one in a million, darling. Well, I'll say. But my gracious, what a big snout you've got there. Well, the better to... 
Ah, uh, you all know that fairy tale mumbo jumbo. Okay, first off, release them. That's good. Now, second of all, I want you two to leave and never come back. Well, scram! Where's that bus going, Granny? Only time will tell, sweetheart. The women of America have responded magnificently to the demands of a nation at war. A need for skilled workers on the vital home front has been capably filled by the patriotic women of our country, and thus given a team good and ready for war production, ranging from Amazon warriors, Kryptonians, detectives, techno wizards, magicians, and officers. So let us realize, out of this nation's crisis, standing tall, loud, and proud, are super women of the United States who can solve problems, obstacles, and difficulties, except one. Where the hay to put the kids while they're working? You ain't kidding, brother. But on rare occasions, I tend to be a beat pigeon. I just can't seem to find one person confident enough to look after my kid. The situation at large is just too supernatural. I don't want to be flooded with too much distractions every time I fight crime. I just gotta find someone to mind my boy. But who? Don't be 
afraid, little friend. Why, I'm just one superior mother. Look. Now look, you want to help the United Nations, don't you? You want to help save Washington, D.C., don't you? You want all gigantic villains to be bombed off the face of the Earth, don't you? Why, absolutely! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's repulsive punks planning to take over the world! Splendid. So while I'm gone, you'll look after my boy. Uh, his name is Butch, by the way. Along the way, this should help you. Hmm. Child psychology. Now I can go and fight crime. We've got to win the Second World War, you know. Superior mother, away! Say, she's a character. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Free at last. How was my boy turning out, huh?
here, cutie. Why, just think, a dog and his pup living together like bros. Why, good morning, Tyke. I sure hope that you're excited for father and son picture day. Oh, I could remember the day when we first met. We would always be kind and loyal to our masters. We would always fetch the newspaper every morning. And most importantly, every dog has got to learn how to chase cats. Yes, sir. It makes me so glad that my boy is getting his picture taken by professionals who actually know what they're doing. But first, if we're going to get you ready for father and son picture day, there's so much to do and so little time. Like... Pussycat, my son is about to have his photograph taken for this year's Father and Son Picture Day, and I don't want you screwing things up. One more disturbance from you, and then you'll be in the photograph as well. Understand? Very good. Now hit the road! Nothing I like more than waking up and brushing your teeth to start the day. <laughs> That's my boy. Wow, look at them pearly whites. Where they're so bright and clean, you can even see the glistening shine from space. You know, if those pearly whites were even brighter, I can only imagine some ladies from Hollywood wanting to star you in motion pictures. Perhaps a little screen test with Warner Brothers. And best of all, I could be your director. Ah, if only a dog could dream. <laughs> Now that we've brushed our teeth, how's about a little bubble bath, son? We want to look sparkling clean for the picture. You look great, son. You look just like a movie star. Just wait till the photographer sees this. <laughs> <laughs> 